Because of the absolute delicious irony, I had to talk about these two clips of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau speaking on divisive politics, basically perfectly describing what he's done to try and remain in office. Like, it, maybe it doesn't really go through the head of Justin Trudeau that in this first clip he's basically saying what he did in 2015, 2019, and 2021 in order to get elected. I guess he thinks that only other people are divisive, only other people attack, yet he's going to sit here smugly talking about it as if he does the complete opposite. He's Mr. Sunny Ways, and although he said Sunny Ways, even in 2015, he was very much a divider who talked about people who are, you know, intolerant, old stock style Canadians and the new progressive Canadians that he wants to lead. He's been doing this from the very start. It's intensified over time to the point where in 2021, he was giving campaign rally speeches talking about how he wants to prevent an unvaccinated person from being able to sit next to you on a train, plane, or other piece of public transport. That's who this guy is, and that's who he exactly describes in this clip right here. Attack politics? divisive politics, negative, stirring up of hate, hate and fear and differences. The dirty secret is they work. Mm -hmm. Even back in 2015, they work to get you elected. Sure, yeah. you can he even said back in 2015. Well, wait, who is he talking about? Harper? He was the only one who got elected in 2015 in terms of having a big majority government. So what, what's he talking about here? Attack politics. And he's talking about being divisive. He's not saying like, Sometimes a negative ad helps. Sometimes, you know, going for the jugular in politics, really going after the negatives of a politician help bring people to you. That's a perfectly fine thing to do. I, I don't like when people play clips like this and they go to, oh, mask off. He does negative stuff. That means Justin Trudeau is secretly a dictator. No, but he is admitting to being a sleazebag. And what he's admitting to is not just negative campaigning. It is being divisive and trying to divide people against each other. A lot of them continue. You can do that. You can mobilize and get elected. It's just what we're seeing is that once you've used those methods to get elected, it becomes incredibly hard to govern responsibly for all citizens in bringing people together and getting big things done. Because once you start you know, churning up anger, it just, it just feeds on itself. And if you're not continually throwing fresh raw meat at it, right. um, it, 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 it will get away from you entirely. Yeah. Uh, Agreed. I agree with him. Absolutely. If anything, he's being like, you know, giving us a great insight into how his government rose and then fell is that eventually he's run out of things in order to make people angry over and he's completely lost control of the political narrative. And he's right. When you divide people against each other in a country like Canada, you're not going to be able to get big projects done. And he really hasn't. Yes, he spends a lot of money, but there's not been a big country unifying project or program that he's rolled out or some new initiative or movement that's really done anything for the country. Like that that's kind of the funny thing about Justin Trudeau's Canada is it's not like other left wing figures who, you know, transform the fabric of the country and really turn us on, uh, turn us into something that we didn't used to be. Canada, honestly, has been in a holding pattern since Harper, and you, even then you could say basically been in a holding pattern since Kretchen. Nothing's really changed other than his exploitation of taxpayers. But there's nothing really fundamentally that's changed in Canadian politics that when we see Justin Trudeau go, we're like, well, that thing is now a cornerstone of Canadian politics. Well, we could never think of Canada without that. You can't name anything because he really hasn't done anything other than fear-mongered and stirred up hatred and divided people against each other to the point where we haven't been able to get anything done. But I'll let him finish off his remarks here. And that's that's where we're seeing uh, in Canada a certain number of, of you know, people who stirred up that starting. You! I know, I know he wants to pretend it's not him, but it's you. You only describe yourself. You're the only one with the power to have divided people against each other. To, to starting to have it sort of turn back against them a little bit. Mm. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, it is turning back against you. That's a that's a perfect little freeze frame there on Justin Trudeau at the end. Like, if anything, I have to take a screenshot of that. I want that for later. <laughs> but uh, the the man lacks complete self awareness. He truly does believe he is the hero of his own story, and he can literally describe himself 
as the villain, but he can still alienate himself from the person that is Justin Trudeau. Like there's Justin Trudeau, the man, and then there's Justin Trudeau, the politician. And it's like he is doing an interview as if he's Justin Trudeau, the man, not not an actual politician. And he's speaking on how the how, what happened in the country, but obviously it's not him. It's that Justin Trudeau guy over there. But now I want to play this other clip for you where he's being asked about uh, about far-right parties being elected across Europe and acting like it's a democratic problem that people voted for what they wanted. Like, this is the thing I've said about the left a lot. They only think it's democracy when they win. I think that describes them very well because every time a party that they don't like, and maybe you and I, depending on the specific example, might not like them either, but they think it's a problem that people voted for what they wanted. And even I, in 2015, when people elected a big liberal majority, I didn't think that was a problem. Frankly, people got what they wanted, and they quickly stopped liking it. And since 2019, we've been more so just in this holding pattern of not enough you know, support going one way or the other to change anything. But definitely people are dissatisfied, and I think that's a perfectly normal electoral cycle. But Justin Trudeau doesn't think so. Um, we have seen uh, around the world a rise of uh, populist uh, right-wing forces in just about every democracy uh, that we've seen. And um, it is of concern to see uh, political parties choosing to instrumentalize anger, fear, division, anxiety. Um, Again, sounds a lot like you, Justin. My approach has always been um, to respond to it, to understand it and to look to solve it, to roll up our sleeves, work hard and with ambition for this country and for our future. And I continue to be um, convinced that Canadians are thoughtful about the challenges we're facing and uh, ready to see them solved rather than just allow themselves to be uh, have their anger uh, amplified uh, without any solutions offered. The, the man, well, he's also admitting that Canadians are, in fact, angry about certain things, but nothing he's done, obviously. It's just right-wingers finding some, you know, small issues and then blowing them up. But again, he he's talking about people voting for what they want, as if it's a problem that now needs to be met. It's like, there are real problems. He, he It's like he thinks that political issues are just kind of, you know, frivolous little issues of the, like, complaints of the populace. No, they're real issues, and you not like meeting them makes people angry and then you dividing people against each other also makes them angry at each other as well as you but justin trudeau sitting here pretending like it, it it's like the tactics only of the far right populists to make people angry and to exploit that is absolutely laughable and he's saying all this like as if just things happen to him things only happen to socialists you know right-wingers and other people have agency and they do things. But in Justin Trudeau, everything, every bad thing that happens, the rise in, you know, more conservative populism with Pure Polyev, that's not because of him. That's just because there are people out there exploiting. He sounds like a conspiracy theorist, frankly, that Justin Trudeau can't wrap his head around the idea that some people just choose other options over time, but whatever. It It's so you know, out of touch. It's unbelievable. Also, I just want to talk about the fact that, man, I wish I could get away with being as incoherent as Justin Trudeau is. And I know I sometimes am, even in this video, slightly incoherent. But just the idea that this man, who has been the prime minister for eight years uh, and an acting teacher, can just barely string a sentence together uh, and sound somewhat coherent. His ability to um, kind of um, just uh, extend... Um, phrases out and then just throw in words like conversations and being able to connect with people. Like it, his, it's just word salad. It must be so easy to make an AI to seem like Justin Trudeau because you can throw in grammar errors and people are like, that's what Justin Trudeau sounds like. He has no ability to communicate like somebody who I'd expect is a seasoned politician. And I think it's because he's just so fully fake that he doesn't actually know what to say in a lot of these situations. Either he's scripted and he sounds like pretty solid, or if he's unscripted, it turns into the water box, box drink bottle stuff. Ugh. Anyways.
That should be it for me today, guys. If you guys want to support my legal fundraiser, it's in the Give, Send, Go link in the description of this video below, as well as in the comments. If you guys could help support that, it really helps me out deal with the burden of costs on me. And then you can also join the National Telegraph's Telegram channel in the description below too. I have the link there. If you guys want to be able to get all of our posts in order as they come, rather than having to rely on the YouTube algorithm or X or Facebook to be able to show you when we have new posts out. Anyways, that should be it for me today, guys. Have a good one.